Welcome to Powell River. Uh, your, your first experience out here, certainly for hockey on, on the West Coast. Uh, just talk us uh, through your first impressions of town so far. It's been fantastic. It's a lovely town. Uh, the people are all friendly. And uh, you really couldn't ask for much more in a hockey town. Talk us uh, through your last season with Nepean. I know when the trade went down, you and I chatted a little bit about uh, you know last season in terms of your performance. But how do you feel, you know, looking back on it now that you've had a summer? How do you feel uh, last year went for you personally and the team overall? I think personally and overall, um, we could have done better, all of us. But um, there were things that I liked about last season. I had a good start. I had a good couple of runs but I didn't finish off as strong as I would have liked. So this year I'm kind of looking to, to finish strong and make it deep into the playoffs and do the best I can all year long. Here with uh, returning with Kingsford, Stephen Hiff. Uh, Stephen, let's talk about the off-season. Uh, take us through kind of what uh, kept your time busy between the end of uh, last year's playoffs and when you came back here for hockey school. Um, yeah, it's just kind of right after the season, you're taking a couple weeks off, obviously, to rest the bumps and bruises of the past season and then uh, yeah I was just right back into the gym and training and getting stronger and keeping on the ice. Is there a particular area of, of your game you felt you've improved over the summer or is there something that you're looking to focus on as you ramp up to speed for this year? Um, yeah I just spend a lot of time just working on my shot and obviously speed's a big part of my game so I try to keep on top of that and can always get faster so. Are you approaching this season any different to your last couple in Powell River, given the fact it's your 20-year-old year and obviously you know, there's a maturity aspect that comes to that and a leadership aspect that comes to that as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, yeah, just having that uh, veteran presence here in the dressing room and uh, helping the younger kids, younger guys on the team, just help them along and kind of just show them the ways. Have you thought much about goals for yourself uh, this season, obviously aside from the wins on the board? Um, yeah, I think just uh, trying to produce a little more offensively this year and uh, kind of take on that uh, little more of the offensive role. So here with the first year power of the King and local product Hunter Finlater, uh, right behind you is the King's Hockey School, uh, something that you participated in as a yeah. kid. How weird is it to be back, I guess, as a player instructor? Feels kind of weird from the beginning, coming to this camp and the tent running it and now. I'm here helping it out. Um, feels good helping the kids out. Good to get back on the ice though yeah. after a long off season, I imagine. Yes, it is. Yeah. What's the off season been like? I know you and I spoke uh, maybe a couple of months ago when you committed uh, to the Kings. Just yeah. kind of catch fans up on on you know the end of your season with North Island up till now. I've just did a week camp in Port Alberni at the uh, prep camp, and then other than that, just off season, off ice training, I guess. You got a taste of not only BCHL action last year, but playoff action as well. Uh, just talk on that experience and, and how that'll hopefully be a, a bit of a boost for you to kind of hit the ground running in your first full season. I think the playoff action will help a lot because it's faster pace and everyone, everyone wants to make it to the next round and just do or die hockey. Goals for you this season? Have you set out any numbers, anything you want to try and improve on? What have you kind of thought about this season for yourself? Uh, I'm just getting stronger and more mature, I think.